welcome everyone for this amazing concert that we know you're going to be blessed by. We are so thrilled, so excited to have the Jason Max Ferdinand Singers. here at CPC. And just before then introducing uh, Dr. Ferdinand and bringing him forward, uh, I'm gonna ask our pastor, uh, Melvin Warfield, to come forward and offer an opening prayer. Let's bow our heads together. Father, we're grateful for the gift of music uh, that affects us in ways that preaching just can't. The way that music moves us and changes something inside of us and brings us closer into your presence, realizing that those notes, those tones are God-breathed. God, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for uh, this amazing group of singers uh, that are dedicated to the singular purpose of glorifying God with the gift that you've given them. We pray, Holy Spirit, that you fill this place, fill this moment, that we would leave here changed, that nothing would be the same after this. We glorify you for who you are, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. I think we... Uh... Hello, everyone. As, as soon as she said the word recording, everybody got spooked. You, f you felt it, it shifted in here. Like, look, I'm, I don't care if the cameras are on or off. We do the same thing, all right? So you can respond. Just <laughs> loosen up. It's funny how that happens. Yesterday, some of us spent, I don't know, 15 hours recording in our studio. So I don't want this to be another recording session, please. Um, it's so good to be here. As you all know, this has been some strange, strange times. And um, for this group, not only is a uh, time to sing, but it's really our first time singing together in public, ever. Um, oh. <laughs> we, we had the, uh, what's that nice word, fortuitous opportunity to um, be part of a festival back in March, an online festival that was based out in London. I had about five or six weeks to put it together, and we just call these people behind me. But you know, for, for that type of recording, you cheat a little bit, right? You record one little piece, and you keep piece. <laughs> so a lot of these songs, we've never sung the whole way through. All of the songs, we've never sung the whole way through. <laughs> so this is going to be fun. Yeah, loosen up, it's going to be fun. So we'll be up here making mistakes and carrying on, but just, just go with us. Um, the first tune we want to sing, um, Let's start with the Bible. The Psalms are such a um, place of inspiration and great teaching. And uh, my dear mentor, Dr. Nathan Mitchell Carter, penned the song many, many years ago. And um, DC's very own John Stoddart, in this concert we did back in March, did a reimagination, if you will, of the accompaniment. And he made it more Brahmsian. It, it sounds really, really, really classical, romantic, I should say, romantic period, Brahms. Beautiful setting of blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. And then we'll go to another psalm text, and look at their reaction when I say this, right? Oh, praise the Lord. Did you see fear come in your face? <laughs> no, good. Um, oh, praise the Lord by probably one of the most prominent African-American uh, composers, Adolphus Hailstock, who lives down the street in Virginia. A uh, very wonderful, vibrant setting of Oh, Praise the Lord. So Psalm 1 and Oh, Praise the Lord. So thank you for being here. We are excited to sing a little bit. 
after all these months. And um, let me just say this to you, head prelate. Um, many of you may not know this, but I sang with your pastor in the Aeolians in whatever year that was. And, and I was telling Stephen, Melvin Warfield, when I met him, the thought that came to my mind was, this is the most amazing baritone voice I've ever heard in my life. He, the guy, he was smooth. Does he sing here now? Ah, okay. All right, so, yeah, he, that, he's, he could sing. So, so um, it's amazing to see my colleagues and John Nixon up the street, uh, who used to sing second tenor right next to me, and to see all these guys coming up now and, and being our leader. So thank you so much for having us. And of course, Elaine. Oh, <laughs> thank you so, so much for having us.
All right, good night, see you later. <laughs> Man, that thing is so hard. Um, Steve, what's next on my list? If you could keep me up, please. Um, we have so many, many wonderful talents in this group, and you'll get to hear some of that this afternoon. And I um, can't wait for to let you hear it. This next spiritual seems very, very appropriate. Um, you know, yesterday or well, Thursday we traveled and I clearly missed the news in, uh, down in Florida. So I got it a day late. I'm like, what's going on? And, and the slaves had a way of saying, nobody knows the trouble I've seen. And um, this is a famous Norman Luboff. Man, I'm getting old. I'm out of breath after two songs. What's going on? Jeez, age. Um, Norman Luboff said the spiritual, we are taking the liberty to give some hope on the last chorus. So you hear a word change there and hopefully you pick up on that. But this is Nobody Knows. And you will hear the solo voice of Mr. Thomas Allen, who's out of Chicago, but he's actually from the Virginia area. And before I move on, who were some of the solos we just heard? And the tricky, could you raise your hand, that we just heard? And, um, and I believe Carl, was, was that you filling in on that solo? Carl from Baltimore. <laughs> and uh, Michael Collins, who's right here from Maryland, D.C., D.M.V., D.C., Maryland, Virginia. Right, 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 Michael. <laughs> and, uh, and all the way from the Bahamas, Mr. Louis Clear.
Didn't it rain, chillin', rain, oh my Lord, didn't it rain, yeah, chillin', oh my Well, it rained for the days and it rained for the nights. One no land nowhere in sight. No sent the reverend to bring the news. Flapped his wings and away they flew to the east, to the west, to the north, to the south. All day, all night. Well, it rained 40 days and it rained 40 nights. One no lamb nowhere in sight, nor sent the raven to bring the news. Flopped its wings and away it flew to the east, to the west, to the north, to the south, all day, all night. Oh. Um, a little story about that song is arranged by a guy by the name of Donald Dillard. And Angelo, when we went to Morgan, he used to live in Philadelphia. And for years, decades, I wondered where he disappeared to. And I literally got an email from him like six months ago, out to the clear blue, moved to California, and he's still alive and doing well. I want to bring out now, um, I love having this guy around. This is Dr. Roderick George. He's a professor of voice at um, Montevallo University, which is kind of close there to Oakwood on the Birmingham side of Alabama. And Roger is going to come now and share a spiritual with us as he gets himself together, like I have to get myself together here too. And, uh, so Roger, you, you can come out here.
but I just come from the fountain. I'm just from the fountain, Lord. I just come from the fountain. His name so sweet, oh Lord. I just come from the fountain. I'm just from the fountain, Lord. I just come from the fountain. His name so sweet. Posting out the hymn of Jesus. Yes, yes, I do love my Jesus. Sin out the hymn of Jesus. His name so sweet. Oh Lord, I just come from the fountain. I'm just from the fountain, Lord. I just come from the fountain. His name so sweet. Class leader, do you love Jesus? Yes, yes, I do love my Jesus. Leader, do you love Jesus? Name so sweet, just come from the fountain. I'm just from the fountain, Lord. I just come from the fountain. His name so sweet. Son, elder, do you love Jesus? Yes, yes, I do love my Jesus. Elder, do you love Jesus? His name so sweet. Just come from the fountain, I'm just from the fountain, Lord. I just come from the fountain, His name so sweet. Oh, my Lord, I just come from the fountain, I'm just from the fountain, Lord. I just come from the fountain, His name so Anyone come from the fountain today? Yes. All right. Wow. I'm enjoying this. I've never heard any of this. <laughs> this, this, is am- <laughs> this is amazing. Jeez. So let, let's go from high voice to low voice. And if you go to this church, you probably heard this young man sing before. He just graduated from Oakwood University with a second degree. He has a first degree in, I don't know, marine biology or something. I don't know. <laughs> And he, he came back to Oakwood, he came to Oakwood to do um, a, a degree in voice, and you'll probably hear why when he opens his mouth. And, and Louis, you could, I'm making you some friends here, because Louis will probably be at the University of Maryland in the fall, as he's been accepted to the voice program there. So this is Mr. Louis Clear.
his head, his hands, his feet. Sorrow and love flowed, mingled down. Did there such love and sorrow? my soul demands my Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Okay. That was, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> the, the members of this group, some of them I've known for many, many years, and some of them I met for the first time in person back in March when we recorded. The next young lady comes from Jamaica, but she's at the University of Nevada in Reno. And this is Sashikia. Ah, see, I got it. <laughs> Sashikia Brown is going to come now and sing a song I think you know very well.
Oh my gosh, I, I'm kind of messed up. Can we all sing that little chorus? Actually, that's what I'm here. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debts. into temptation, but deliver us from it. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the One of the most formative experiences of my musical life, I spent right up the street, um, 1225 R Street. Yeah. Remember, that was like the, that song is better opening a service. Yeah. I used to get me every time, John on pipe, and it was just amazing. Speaking of John, um, it was 1995, I was a student down in Trinidad and Tobago, and the Pine Forge Academy Choir came. And there's this guy with, this, with these long dreads. And, um, and, and they were getting ready to sing for church and he needed someone to turn the page. He was on the organ and I happened to be close by and I go over and I turn the pages. I'm turning, well, I, I attempted to turn pages, which is a huge job, right? No, it's not really a huge job. And I was so enamored by what he was doing, I totally forgot to turn the pages. And he kept looking at me like, turn, man, turn. turn. <laughs> I was like, who is this dude? And um, I came to Oakwood, what, two years after that? And it was, oh man, I was privileged to see John play weekend after weekend after weekend. And I was a piano major. And after many a concert, I, I questioned why I was studying piano. Because like, what are you doing? And, um, but John has become a great friend and a, a great mentor. And he lives in Huntsville, I'm in Huntsville. And, we get to work a lot together. So I don't know what he's going to play. Like, I don't know what anybody's doing today. And um, John, this, this is home for you, so.
Oh man, I gotta catch my breath here. Hold on. Right. Um, this is a Negro spiritual that before this arrangement, I've never heard, never heard it, period. Um, a young man who just graduated from Florida State University with a degree in choral conducting music education, but he's also like the music director for Legacy. <laughs> Uh, Brandon Waddles is such a talented guy. And this without question is one of my favorite songs that we, we learned in, in March. And this is a song we've never sung the whole way through. So please, <laughs> let's cross those sections. It's a very, very delicate song. They led my Lord away.
Isn't that an amazing song? Oh, gosh. Please tell me where to find him. Uh, John, can you just start doodling in E flat? Maybe D flat. D flat. Jade, can I call you up here? Where's Jade? Jade is another person I met for the first time in March. And Jane went to Morgan State, which is my alma mater. And I'm, I'm learning. I, Jane has a wonderful instrument and a wonderful personality. Um,
praise God It's okay to praise God
shall not fear The arrow by day Nor shall I fear The terror
Krasse.
you know this song, can you sing this around here? Who shall I fear? If you know it, sing with us. Who shall I fear? The Lord is the strength. The Lord is the strength. Yeah, it's funny. You could tell who um, the real conservative worshipers in the uh, The Lord is the strength. The You could tell, you could tell, you could tell. So let's try it one more time. Sing it real, real strong. The, hey, the. Of my life. Oh now sing this part real strong. Who This pandemic has a lot of people every day living in uncertainty and anxiety and some in depression. But the Lord is the strength of my life. Whom shall I fear? And our forefathers used to put it in a little spiritual, I think it's a spiritual, that says he's got the whole world in his hands. Even the tiny, itty baby. He's got the whole world in his hands.
Oh, man. I'm going to start winding this thing down. The uh, gentleman who arranged our last piece, oh, man, what do you say here? <laughs> you know, as a, as a little boy into music, into vocal, jazz, and close harmony, um, I would always try to learn that part because it was the hardest part, at least to me. And it was so funny, we were riding in the car, was it yesterday or the day before? And Thomas started singing Quiet Place. And I was in the car, I started singing the baritone part, and Cedric looked at me like, man, that's my part. <laughs> I'm like, man, jump in, man, come on. <laughs> um, Cedric Dance is such a, such a gift, and um, so humble, and... <laughs> so humble, has become such a, a great mentor and a friend to, to me, and um, so I'll let him come at his time, and... Um, you know, I, I don't know, man. It's, it's, that was a tough lineup. It's a tough lineup. But you're the only one in the room with, with Grammys and stuff, so. You know.
Daryl and guys, don't, don't move, stay right there, right? But um, we'll sing this, this last song. Um, John, you can come to the piano. Oh my gosh. Um, there's a, a important, uh, two important people to this new organization that are not here with us today. Um, they're, they're two redheads, and, and every time people try to figure out how they connected to me, and um, Lori, Lori and Kim, but Lori has coined, she doesn't want to call this a choir, she wants to call it an ensemble of exceptional talents. And I, and I see it now, it's crazy. What is, what is happening? I'm lost. <laughs> this is... <laughs> wow. And that's, and that's just some of the people you saw today. I can call anybody up here. Um, again, John did a total new reimagination to this old song, um, a song that I grew up hating. I used to hate this tune. Um, he was singing at every funeral, and most times it was always out of key or something. I was like, what's... But then I, I, I got older and learned the words, and uh, it means so much more, more now. And... Um, so we'll, we'll end here, and then maybe as a postlude or something, we, we'll join in something that we all know at the very, very end. You could stand up and sing this one with us. Adrian Wesley's in the audience. Um, this is a, what's that word? New, what's the word new? N nations, a nations ensemble. And AT's been an integral part of helping us get together and the recording we did in March. So AT, I want to thank you publicly, man. Thank you so much. <laughs> And Latonia is always good to see you. And um, if you have someone who's up here, uh, your husband or wife or mother, or could could you stand? Let's just see who's here. There's not many of us, so we could all see you. So stand. Let's, ah, okay, okay, okay. So, so keep keep, keep standing. So, so raising. Okay, right, right. And and who and you guys are for who? Who are you? Ah, Garrett, ah, your parents. Awesome, nice to meet you, nice to meet you. Um, and this is Ryan. Ryan is with... All right, see the connection. And who's this? This is Samela's sister. Yeah, yeah, Samela. Samela. Yeah. Did I miss anyone? Thank you all so, so much for coming and, and, and supporting. This, this has been great. I'm so proud of everyone up here, and let me just say this again. Thank you to all 28 or whatever it is of you all. Thank you all so, so much. This has been a total, total dream. It's been awesome. And like I said, this, this is our first time singing in public live, and uh, if they start like this, oh my goodness, it's going to be amazing. Um, I was going to say one more thing, and age is kicking in. I forgot what it was. I forget. Oh, Vilroy, Vilroy. Villaroy is an important part of, um, of what we do here, so thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. So we'll sing this song and we'll be out your way. Thank you so much for coming and hopefully things will get slowly back to normal, we pray. And um, stay safe and um, stay encouraged and keep living with curiosity, empathy and optimism. All right.
You can keep standing because we're going to go all together. You know this, right? Yes? You can lift your hands as we do this. Everybody singing. Here we go. One big choir. One, two, and up.
Does anybody in here have praise on their lips, in their hands, in their hearts for our God and thanks to this amazing Dr. Ferdinand and each one of you, musicians and singers, you all are amazing, just amazing, and we're just so grateful. We're honored, we're honored to have been able to host you all today. Uh, just honored, I, I, I'm almost out of breath. <laughs> Thank all of you for coming and those of you who will be watching online when we, uh, when we stream this. And uh, of course, uh, nothing, we have not charged tickets, but nothing like this comes free in terms of what we invest into it. And so we do, I, I'm gonna turn it over to you and ask you for both our online as well as those present. Uh, so have you been blessed today? I think we can start there. Thank you, thank you. I would say thank you, what, 28 times? We'll be here for a while, thank you. To each and every one of you for the blessing that you have been. I think I was on that trip in 95 with Pine Forge. Um, I remember that trip. Uh, and John had, you had those luxurious locks. And every time he sang God and God alone, I thought we were gonna lose the whole soprano section. Um, but we have been blessed tonight. Uh, and as, as wonderful as it is to say amen, to stand, to applaud, to, to encourage, we also encourage you to invest in the ministry that they are performing. Uh, I heard it a long time ago, salvation is free, but ministry cost. It does, it costs. And we're encouraging you as you leave today, we're encouraging you, we have some people at the back of the door we're encouraging you to invest, to partner with them, to pour back into them. The sacrifice that it takes, the work that it takes, um, it, it is beyond words. You can't put it into words, the amount of work that it takes, not just the expertise, but the practice, the rehearsals, the recordings, the sleepless, <laughs> sleepless days and nights, the time away from family. Uh, it cannot be put into words, but we can put it into their hands. Amen. Did you hear what I said? Amen. We can put it into words, but we can put it into their hands. And so we're encouraging you, uh, if they want to write checks, I know we have some old school folk that still do checks. If they want to write checks, how do they do that? To CPC, to CPC. okay, all right. Uh, if you're going to write a check, in that memo line, make sure you put the Jason Max Ferdinand Singers. Don't put my name. If you want to put my name, that's fine. No, I'm just kidding. Don't put my name. I'll give it right back to them. Don't do that. Uh, we're encouraging you. If you write checks, you can write it to CPC. But in that memo line, make sure that you write the Jason Max Ferdinand Singers. If you are online and you are giving that way, you can give as well at cpcsda.org forward slash give. And you can give there as well. But we want to make sure that we... Uh, that we are responsible with the gifts that God has given us and pouring back into them, into each one of them uh, that is doing this. So I've said enough. Um, let's bow our heads together as we ask God's blessing on the gifts that will be given uh, as well as your dismissal today. Father, we are grateful for what we have heard. We can't put it into words. We understand, we're, we're all students of the word, we understand that the music in heaven is supposed to be better than this. We just don't see how that's possible. We understand that this pales in comparison to what we'll hear for the countless ages of eternity in glory. But God, thank you today for a glimpse of glory. Thank you for a foretaste of glory divine for allowing us to hear this music that has brought us into the courts of heaven, this music that is transcendent, it lifts us higher. 
And God, as much as we've enjoyed it, we know that all of heaven has rejoiced over the, the, the praises to our God. We're grateful for each and every singer, each and every musician, every one of their family members, the sacrifice that it takes, the work that it takes to make sure that this happens properly. God, we praise you. And we thank you for the ministry of these singers. Now we pray that you would bless each and every one of the gifts that will be received. That it would go to, to strengthen this ministry, to take it even further so that this gospel that they sing will spread around the world. So that people from around the globe will know the Jesus of which they sing. And then God, we pray that when all of this is over, you would be glorified, the kingdom of God edified, and that your, hasten, your, your coming would be hastened. Now take us from this place, but never, ever, ever from your presence. And may the grace of God keep into each and every one of you. May his power sustain you. May his love envelop you and may his wisdom guide you until we're all able to meet again. Let all of God's redeemed declare together, amen? Amen, amen, amen. amen. Can we say amen again? for these singers. Let me, say, let me say one more thing since I got this mic here. I've always wanted to be a musician. I'm not. I wish I was, but I'm not. But I enjoyed so much sitting in the musician section. <laughs> there was a musician section today. There was. I live music. I breathe it. Ask Robin. Everything about my life is music. And, and whenever I hear things, I get that stank face. You know that stank face? I can hear it all day long and I'll hear something and I'm like, ooh, ugh, oh. Now, everybody doesn't hear that, but I had so much fun in this section right there because every time something happened, you saw musicians looking at each other like, did this really just happen with real people, with voices? It was amazing. So as much as you all enjoyed it, I think I enjoyed it even more right here. So let's say amen again for the ministry of the Jason Max Ferdinand Singers. Thank you so much. And then finally, I just want to make sure that I thank all of those who supported this. We've got an amazing audio engineer uh, up in the booth who is running this. Travis Cleveland, thank you so much. And our, and, and our media video team, uh, they are incredible. You see them all over the building, and I'm just so thankful. I know they captured intimate shots that I'm very grateful for uh, of all that was happening. And... Um, Donna, thank you uh, for your help in managing things, and Michelle Buckmeyer, always. Um, Bill Roy McBean, how, how can I not acknowledge you, the manager for this group, and really anything Jason does, <laughs> he's there, uh, working hard to support in all the logistics and so forth and make it, make it happen and promote it. So uh, just wanted to acknowledge and thank each one of you all. So have a wonderful evening. God bless. We know that you will leave here full.
my 